Jessie B. Scrapbooking back with another process video. This one is with the uh, um, Confessions of a Paper Attic, um, 20 Days of Christmas or Summer cut file hop. And this is the cut file I'm using today. Um, our prompt is stitching. So I am going to use these amazing stitching lines that um, were actually part of the cut file. I'm going to stitch on that and I'm going to be doing this beautiful scenery picture here when we were up on top of the mountain, the snow, and myself bundled up because it was cold. And yeah, so let's get going. Okay, so I'm leaving this in real time because I end up uh, cutting out a whole bunch of this video and so it wasn't very long. <laughs> So I'm just showing you here the start of me um, sewing these line, these uh, swirly bits in the leaves. And what I am doing now is looking for some tape to tape the ends down. And I am just going to do a basic back stitch. Nothing fancy, um, but I thought it would look really cute. I thought about doing like a chain stitch or something, but the holes ended up being that I cut um, because I sized the cut file to um, 10 inches. It ended up being a little bit bigger than um, I expected them to be, but that's okay because it works out just fine. Um, the back stitch works out beautifully. This um, thread that I'm using, it's a um, variegated so it starts off with white and then goes down into the different yellows and oranges and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's, uh, I think the company is a J and P coats and the color is 00192 if you are interested. And, um, I'm just going to show you the first part and then I will cut and you can see the end of the stitching. And I absolutely love how the stitching turned out. It really is pretty. The needle I am using is not an embroidery needle because I cannot find my big blunt needle. So I'm actually using a Glover's needle. So it's very sharp, but I'm not piercing the paper. I'm just, you know threading it like you would do when you're a little kid on those um, thread boards and um, so but I still have to be very careful because this Glover's needle is extremely sharp and it's three-sided so I don't want to cut the paper or the string or thread I should say so here I am just finishing up and I love how it started off with the white and turns down here into the oranges and it's just so pretty. And this is probably one of my favorite parts about this whole layout. And so I'm getting this just about wrapped up here. So while I finish that, I just want to remind you this is a hop. There is lots of people playing along. Make sure you go and check everybody out. And um, I will have a link to this cut file. Um, and that way if you um, are interested in it, just go over to the Etsy shop at Confessions of a Paper Attic and it will be there. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but like I said, it will be in the description box. So you can see all my little taping spots in the back here and um, I'm just using this washi tape to secure the ends and then the that part of this layout is done. And I did back off camera, I backed the um, leaves in some pattern paper and I'm using the collection um, I think it's called Welcome Fall by Elko Park. Um, no, Hello Fall. Hello Fall by Elko Park. And I decided that my paper was just plain, too plain. So I am going to do a little bit of um, packaging technique so that this yellow will poke out from behind where my pictures are going to go. And 
I cover up probably 98% of it, but it still gives it that hint that it was there. And uh, I probably could have gone in with a second color. I think that would have looked really good, but I didn't think about it until, well, just now actually. Okay, so I ended up just going to do a layout share with this because um, I changed everything a million times. It took me forever. I'm still not extremely happy with it, but I like it. Um, so, you see me do the stitching, which I absolutely love. And I love how it starts off in the white and then goes down into the orange. I backed each of the... Um, cutouts with a different pattern paper. I love how this one turned out. And then I grabbed some stickers um, and just put a couple more leaves around. Um, my photos here, I don't have a lot of embellishing. I just did a flare here and then a couple stickers and then just a little important. And then I put these little uh, drills here. And on this one, this here, this is a uh, cut apart card and in the center of the cut apart was this adorable little owl so I put the owl here added some more stickers and a drill and another flare and then just said hello weekend and then I bordered it all in this beautiful um, paper here it's this one the back side and I get it because it's so pretty and that helped tie it all together. It was really giving me a hard time of what I wanted to do with it. Um, I'm thinking maybe I need some dark splatters on it. And that's it. Um, I don't have a title on this one. I couldn't think of anything to put in. This is going into our hunting album. So, um, yeah, this is kind of it. I am I love the cut file. The cut file is um, Confections of a Paper Attic cut file. Love it. It's an amazing cut file. I just could not get my layout to work out like I wanted. But it's done. It's going to go in my album. I'm going to quit messing with it and call it good. So, thanks for watching. Bye.